Hey everybody, <clears throat> just wanted to make a quick video. I got a a uh, comment on one of my open carry videos recently, and it was a simple comment. It said, uh, "Jason, do you have a concealed carry weapons permit, a CC, a CWP?" Um, and the answer is yes, I do. And I'm here to tell you why I, I have a C concealed carry permit. But yet, I prefer to open carry. First off, I do have a concealed weapons carry permit in the state of Virginia, but I do prefer to open carry. And the reason why, <coughs> when I first got into guns, I was open carrying my firearms. And I found that the laws regarding firearms in the vehicle, especially in the cabin of the vehicle for protection on a person, are very vague in Virginia. In fact, in a lot of cases, they're up for individual officers' interpretation, individual prosecutors' interpretation, and individual judges' interpretation. For instance, about, it's going on maybe five years ago, a man was pulled over in Virginia Beach, and he did not have a concealed weapons permit. But his gun was in a locked separate container in the center console. So if I'm driving and this is the center console right here where you would normally put your CDs, he had the ability to lock that and it was locked and a key was separate from it and his gun was in the center console. By definition of law, that should be legal. It's the same thing as if, as if it was his glove box or any other locked separate compartment of his vehicle that was in the cabin of the car. The law in Virginia, from what my understanding is, and this has been a long time since I researched it, and they recently changed it, I think, or recently interpreted it, but the law still stands. If it's in the cabin of the car, it has to be in a locked, separate container of the vehicle, with the key not in the lock. <clears throat> so if my glove box was able to lock, and I didn't have a concealed weapons permit, and I put it in the glove box, and it was my glove box was locked, and the key was away from it on my key ring while I was in the ignition, I would be fine. But this man, getting back to him, was arrested and charged with a felony of illegally concealing a weapon without having a concealed carry permit. And he was charged, and he was sent to prison. And his lawyers are fighting the case last I heard, even to this day, trying to get him out of out of prison and trying to get it appealed and trying to get the felony wiped from his record. Now, this isn't a, a case where an officer <coughs> interpreted it differently. You ever heard the term good old boy or city boy or rookie or old timer? That's what you get in Virginia. You get a combination of all four. I could be driving in Farmville, for example, <clears throat> concealing a weapon and having a concealed carry permit and get pulled over by one of them good old boys <coughs> and have a problem or them try to create a problem or get pulled over in Richmond City and have one of them city guys try to cause a problem. Rookie cop, cop about ready to retire, not taking any bullshit from anybody. I found it's the cops that have been on the force a, a, not a long time, but in the middle of the career that are the easiest to deal with. So long and short, I got a concealed carry permit to make it easier for me to have a gun in the vehicle. A lot of people advised me when I had no concealed carry permit was to keep the gun in the trunk, empty holster on my hip, hip <clears throat> get out of the car, open the trunk, look around, make sure nobody's looking, take the gun, put it in my holster. But that brings up another problem. What if I was broke? What if somebody saw me putting that gun into my holster? <clears throat> then I'd be charged with brandishing a firearm. So that had its problems right then and there. So, <clears throat> yes, I do have a concealed carry permit. I also got the concealed carry permit <clears throat> because of winter. When winter comes around in Virginia, it can be anywhere from very, very cold and very, very windy and wet to end. Eh, one day it's cold, windy, and wet. One day it's fine. 
So I was having a problem with <clears throat> wearing my coats or deciding not to wear a coat. Or when I would wear my coats, I would have <clears throat> the coat around the gun and the gun like this. Or in your view, like that. And it just would be awkward and it would invite trouble because if that coat covered that gun for a split second, I could be charged with concealing a weapon. Or if a police officer decided to get in my business. So <clears throat> that's another reason. The other reason is sometimes, depending on my errand, my goal, my destination, where I'm going, I will choose to conceal. For instance, in Richmond, I've been starting to open carry, merely because it technically is legal, and I want to bring more open carry knowledge to Richmond. But then again, <clears throat> sometimes I choose not to. And so I got the concealed weapons permit for, again, three things. Vehicular transport, winter, and city, or goal of my intended day. So yeah, I, I, I have a concealed weapons permit, but I prefer to open carry. And I think I've mentioned why I prefer to open carry in previous videos. But I prefer because it's my American right to do so, <clears throat> my Second Amendment right. It's legal in Virginia. I'm not breaking any laws. And I want to protect myself. And that's the plain and simple of it. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for all your educational and, 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 and interesting comments related to my channel.